I consider myself a man of decent logic. A man who has a fairly firm grasp on the perceptions of reality. A man who's down to earth and lives in the realms of the real world. Until today, when that reality was challenged by a blue tainted hedgehog and his flying fox with two tails. This is the gateway to madness that the world of children's programming has chosen to call the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Imagine coming across a mentally disabled person who's not only criminally insane, but was also drunk, high, and had a whole frontal lobotomy leaving little to no intelligence left in his brain. He would be normal compared to the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, what's wrong with this show? What's right with this show? That's the shorter answer! It's actually hard to come up with words to describe how batshit crazy this show is. It is that crazy. So, rather than talk about it, let's go ahead and try and watch it. The keyword being try. So here's the opening of the show, which I suppose is supposed to sum up what the show is about. Look, it's Sonic! Sonic! We got a lot of Sonic! Hello! Hello, Sonic! Sonic! Hey, lots of Sonic! Lots of Sonic! Hey, Sonic! Sonic! Definitely a lot of Sonic! Sonic! Well, that explained everything. So the show takes place in Who Gives a Shit Land. I call it that because clearly you look at the backgrounds knowing the creators just threw up their arms and shouted, Really? Who Gives a Shit? Civilization! Boy, I thought we'd never find it. Civilization? Where? What, you mean those couple of building blocks in the distance? That's supposed to be a city? Oh yeah, one of the great architectural designs of cinema. Gotham City, the Castle of Gondor, shitty ass bricks. I can't wait to see more. Now I know what you might be thinking, are you just showing the opening of this show again? Nope, this is literally all the show is, just chasing and yelling. It's like a cartoon for kids that have Tourette's Syndrome. So the show stars Sonic, duh, fresh from his hit video game off the Sega Genesis. He's voiced by none other than Jalel White. That's right, Urkel from Family Matters. I see you! Oh yeah, cause Urkel's voice was such a delight to listen to, wasn't it? All I care about in this park is the safety of the kids. I shall be forced to verbally castigate you in front of your peers! He's accompanied by his sidekick Tails, a little fox who can fly around because he was born with two tails. Makes sense to me. They're out to stop the evil Robotnik, who seems to live in a house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. His evil plan is to, you guessed it, take over the world. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sick of that joke. You know, it was funny at first, but now it's just getting annoying. So you are never gonna hear that joke again. Of course! Of course! It's gonna take more than that this time. Of course! Fucking joke. So Robotnik isn't really as much a dictator as much as a comic foil for Sonic to make fun of. But what do you expect when you dress like Santa Claus's sadomasochistic gimp brother? One troublemaking teenager has made me tear every hair from my beautiful head! Wow. He hates him so much that he actually tattooed the word hate right on his very teeth. That's a lot of hate. He tries to stop him by building robots that are designed to kill and destroy. These machines are so lame, I doubt they make it as half-baked Mega Man villains. Two of the robots created are a robotic chicken named Scratch and... whatever the hell this is, named Grounder. And if you thought Sonic's voice was annoying, just listen to this ear sodomy. Hey, Pastro! You miss! Ha ha ha! I'll glue your yep shut! Uh. How do I describe the voices of these two? You ever tell your side of a story where you're trying to make the other person you're talking about sound really obnoxious? So I'm sitting there just talking to my friends when suddenly the teacher walks in and is like, What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in class? He made me persistent. He made you too dumb to quit. And then my idiot friend is like, Duh, I don't know. I thought it started later. Yeah, the chase is over. Yeah, you make them sound annoying for a reason. They annoy you! There's also a monkey named Coconuts who wants to capture Sonic on his own, often declaring war on the speedy little hedgehog. I declare open season on hedgehogs! I don't know why, but this vengeful war-hungry monkey always reminded me of George W. Bush. Maybe it's the cowboy hat, I don't know. You can run, but you can't hide, hedgehog! He's got weapons of mass acceleration. 
The way Sonic always gets out of their traps is by running, of course, and putting on several disguises, as the bad guys never seem to realize there's a lot of blue overdressed hedgehogs in the neighborhood recently. Don't crowd, don't push, admission is free! <laughs> well that came out of nowhere! I love how he actually winks to the audience to point out that it's him under that costume. Because he's such a master of disguise that we really needed the extra hit. I'm over there. How does that work? I don't care how stupid you are. If you just say I'm over there, nobody's gonna go, oh, he's over there. Even the mentally ill aren't that stupid. Look at this animation, by the way. There is no thought, focus, or structure put into any of it. This is an animation. It's fucking doodling. I don't want to watch something that's less entertaining than what I drew on my desk in high school. Guess you guys won't be staying for a second show! You got that right. So the whole show pretty much is just the evil robots trying to set up traps to catch Sonic and how the traps always seem to backfire. Gee, does that sound familiar at all? Unlike the Roadrunner though, this show has the misfortune of having people speak. Obviously a very big mistake. Oh, here comes the hedgehog! Get ready to nab him! I thought you had him! I thought you had him! Oh god, Tom and Jerry had a plot compared to this! As you probably gather, this show has absolutely no basis in logic or reason. But there are just really some things that go beyond the boundaries of comprehension. Like watch this scene as they try to set up yet another trap. Induce land you're in, you cannot blow in your hand and come up with a pumpkin. How did you even come to that conclusion? I mean, what's next? He's gonna blow in his hand and the beautiful woman's gonna come out? How can you blow into your hand and make a woman? Why would you even be chasing hedgehogs if you can blow into your hand and make a woman? It does not add up. My god, how do you even advertise a show like this? I mean, what did the commercials look like? Hey kids, Ren and Stimpy making too much sense for you? Then put on The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. You'll love this cosmic out-of-body raping of your senses. It's like a Japanese show in English, only you still have no idea what's going on. You must be at least this high to watch. One of the running jokes, I guess, is that Sonic always has a thing for chili dogs. Where are we? A long way from the nearest chili dog stand. Two chili dogs to go. Can we find some more chili dogs? Two dozen chili dogs. You punched your last chili dog. Buy chili dogs from that guy. You know, at least with other cartoons, there's some sort of rhyme or reason. Bugs Bunny with carrots, Winnie the Pooh and honey, a blue hedgehog, and chili dogs? What's the connection? My guess is it's what gives him his supersonic speed. That's to say, I'm sure he's fast on his feet, but nothing can breathe fire like a gas-producing bean product that makes you want to shit more than a Metamucil cocktail. Gotta roll, troll! Even in the realm of its own insanity, it doesn't make any sense. Like, look at this scene where they're trapped in a cage as a trapdoor is slowly opening up. Ah! First of all, Tails can fly! Why doesn't he just pick up Sonic and lift him off the ground? Second, are you seriously telling me that you can't fit through those bars? You can drive a fucking pickup truck through those giant gaps! Don't you realize a terrible villain is about to destroy this entire place? Nope! Don't say no, never mind, your current events! Maybe you should consider a career in politics. Oh, come on! I've seen Fruity Pebble commercials funnier than this! This is torture! This is madness! This is Sonic! And just when you think you've seen the lame as part of the show, Sonic actually has a moral to teach at the end. Because I really want a blue hedgehog who eats chili dogs to be my children's teacher. We're surrounded, Sonic! Call 911! No way, Tails! This is nothing! 911 is for real emergency! That's right, kids! Don't call 911 for being attacked by people who want to kill or kidnap you! Only call for important things! Like if the cable goes out, and you can't watch the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog! That's what's important! But even the messages are weird. I mean, 